Highlight video. There we go. All right. So uh, let's start with the big game. So we're playing World Cup soccer tonight. Released in February 1994 in anticipation of the World Cup coming to the United States. So big that they let pinball do uh, whatever they wanted. Um, let's see. Uh, code by Larry Demar. Art by Kevin O'Connor. Playfield. I said the first time, muffled, I'll say it for real, Playfield by John Papaduke, okay, fine. But it also, on IPDB, it also uh, uh, credits Larry DeMar uh, with some of the design elements. I, what, I don't know. Um, so, the, the basic, like, like any game, you want to figure out what the one thing you want to do. And it, what's funny is, while trying to figure this game out, uh, before, before the stream, I thought, uh, the one thing is definitely multi-ball, but playing this particular one, I found that goals is also something I can do fairly well. I can backhand the goal from the right flipper, so that's also something we're going to talk about on the screen. So, basic thing, how do you start multi-ball? There are four main multi-ball qualifying shots on the play field. You've got your uh, left orbit, your left ramp, you've got your right ramp, and then way in the back, You've got your striker scoop uh, just to the to the right of the goal with that man that's furiously moving back and forth. Basically, what you need to do is you need to hit those four shots five times. One of those four shots five times. It will light one skill um, that will light in here. So you do stamina, skill, spirit, speed, and strength. So for each um, for each one of those shots you you should hit, it'll light one of those. I've noticed that. Um, that they will stay lit potentially for two if you can combo them. Uh, it might stay lit for two anyways, but when I was comboing the right ramp, for instance, um, it was staying lit, it was giving me two of those. Once you have gotten those five skills, you need to lock one ball uh, via either ramp. Either ramp will feed the ball lock. It'll lock a ball. Then the trickiest part of pretty much any uh, World Cup soccer is getting the um, the final draw scoop, which is just below the soccer ball here. The scoop is notoriously hard, notoriously hard to hit, um, and, and particularly because, uh, and, and it's dangerous, particularly because most people need to um, overhand it from the left flipper into the scoop, which can create, if you miss it, if you brick it, it can create quite a bit of uh, out of control back and forth. It's very scary. There are some very talented individuals, I have not mastered the skill yet, but there's some very talented individuals who can backhand the scoop from the right flipper that if you miss, um, you're in a little better shape. Uh, I have not been able to successfully do that. So, once you have shot these four shots five times, any combination, block your ball via either ramp, and then hit that. Your main goal is to hit the goal. Uh, the goal, again, is back here. It, it is made a little tougher by the goalie going back and forth. Um, once you have hit the goal that will score jackpot, you'll know that the jackpots are lit because the, there's a red insert just, uh, just in front of the, the jackpot, or just in front of the goal that hits the jackpot. It lets you know that those jackpots are lit. Once you've hit a jackpot and the game, uh, the ball to ball will start with the goal lit. So the first thing you want to do once that ball comes out, shoot it right in there. One little trick, one little tip or trick, before um, before the game or bef uh, before the game starts, take a take a peek just below the shooter rod. There's a, a large button just below the shooter rod called extra ball. Once you have shot a jackpot, whether your first jackpot or whatever, you need to shoot it back up the ramp to relight the jackpot. The trick is, you can hit that extra ball button and it will, one time, give you a free light of the jackpot. I am not the best of players, so I like to just cash that in right away. Just cash it in, get it out of the way, get your points, you're good to go. Um, so, Basically, multi-ball is hitting the goal, hitting one of the ramps. Hit the goal, hit one of the ramps. Hit the goal, hit one of the ramps. Each time you make a goal, you move up in jackpot level. Um, you, uh, you, you'll move up in jackpot level. Now, one funny thing, 
is there are 15 jackpot levels, but most people start at level uh, 11 because every time you make a goal, which we're going to talk about in a minute, every time you make a goal, your jackpot levels, every time you make a goal outside of multi-ball, your jackpot levels move up uh, another level. Or sorry, they move up four levels. Uh, so most people skip over 15, 14, 13, 12, go right to 11 because you're locking a ball. Uh, you can start at 15 if you get um, uh, striker, which is just that scoop to the right of the, uh, the, the, the goal. You can be awarded multi-ball uh, or a pity multi-ball if you have not, done, if you've done like terribly. At the end of the, uh, at your third ball, if you hit striker, you'll get multi-ball uh, from hitting striker. Um, and you'll start at 15, uh, seed 15, and your jackpots are lower. So it definitely behooves you. Um, if you if you somehow magically if you can't get that scoop, um, you can just keep. Uh, actually, I don't I don't think you can you can move up a level. Forget what I just said. I was gonna say you you can move up a, a level, but um, there's a couple other things that move you up jackpot levels. But for right now, we're not gonna really focus on them. What we are gonna focus on is how to get goals. Um, your goals are lit by uh, hitting the four rollovers that lead up to the goal. So the four rollovers, just like on Wizard of Oz, you gotta hit all four of those rollovers, it will light the goal, you hit the goal, you're good to go. Couple other tips and tricks uh, uh, throughout the game, but I, I kinda wanna play through this because once you know, um, once you know how to start multi-ball, once you know how to make goals, it's pretty much set. Each time you make a goal, it's gonna start an ultra mode, which is going to kind of, uh, it's a power up, for, uh, for four things. It's either uh, Ultra Spinners, Ultra Jets, Ultra Ramps, or Ultra Goalie. It's really, it really behooves you to get that first goal in before your multi-ball. Try to get a, a, an Ultra Mode running because then you can hopefully finish it during multi-ball. And that's gonna give you some more points. I am a terrible, I'm a terrible player at this game and simply focusing on shooting the goal when it's lit, getting multi-ball started once during a game, and, uh, and, and trying to get a few ultra modes loaded in here, uh, I've been able to get um, close to a billion, which in competition play, for, for this particular machine, a billion is actually like fairly, uh, fairly good. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's, let's play a game. Let's see what happens. Let's see how I embarrass myself. Uh, an another thing to note is your skill shot. You have three blinking, it's, it's kind of a very unique skill shot. You have three bl blinking lights. Well, the other one should be blinking, it's not. Just pretend it is. Um, you basically, throughout a game, need to hit each one of these little areas. The ball shoots out, goes up. You need to kind of bridge the gap to get all the way to the far one. You need to do a soft wedge to get to the, the first one, and then a medium plunge to get the middle one. So let's plunge. Okay, so I got to the first one, which is pretty good. So what I'm doing is I am shooting my ramps to hopefully not drain, which I did. Yeah, just just my luck. Okay, so I've got my first uh, my first one. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go for that second one. Actually, let's punch hard. There we go. Got my third one. That's pretty good luck. Ah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not doing well at all. I was gonna say, I've, I've had pretty good luck comboing that, uh, that ramp. It's the minute that I start talking, the minute that I'm, this is why I'm a terrible competition player, because the minute I start talking is the minute that I start making terrible decisions, and, and the minute that I'm on, you know, the minute that I need, I need to be uh, a, a good player. This is my warm-up game. I also find that I can fairly well pull, pull some out of my butt. Okay, so I did. This is actually a good example. I did terribly. I did terribly in um, during my game. So it actually locked. I think it lit the lock for me because it was it felt bad for me. So, 
We're gonna keep playing. Let me know what questions y'all have. So I got a goal, and that's gonna bring an ultra mode. It's gonna bring ultra spinners. It would have if I had not just failed miserably. All right, let's play a real game. Again, we're going for the left orbit, left ramp, right ramp, and that uh, striker scoop. Takes a little bit to get kind of focused in on where the ramps are. I'm in a pretty bad position right now because the ball was uh, bouncing around quite a bit, and I can't find that left ramp, but I found or the right ramp, but I did find the left ramp. Okay, so we have lit, I think, three of the four, or the five. Yeah, all right, so we have our locks lit. So one more shot to any ramp, either ramp, either ramp. There's really only two, so it doesn't matter which one. Okay, so here's one thing. I actually uh, lit a, an assist, but it stopped the goalie in a terrible place. So there, there are opportunities where um, you basically, if you get in that saucer, it'll stop the goalie where it is and you get kind of a, kind of a free shot. But it sucks when the goalie is right in your way. So I need to focus up and get it up that dang ramp. And a hush fell over the crowd. Man alive. There it is. Okay. Locked my ball. Um, I've also, there's also some other little things going on. Um, for every time that you hit the left ramp and the right ramp, or you light both rollovers, you, it lights the spinner, not the orbit, just the spinner. It lights the spinner to move you up a city. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, the, the ultimate, so I think it's basically goes Chicago, Dallas, Boston, New Jersey, Orlando, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Detroit, and then L.A. If you can travel all the way up there, you actually get to the wizard mode. So it's basically left ramp, right ramp, left ramp, right ramp, spinner, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like nine times, you get to wizard mode. For some people, if you find that those, those ramps are very cooperative, that's actually not a terrible technique to focus on. Um, you know, finding, finding something that feels good and doing it as much as you can. You know, right now, you know, I, I've got my goal lit, I mean, my final draw is late, so, uh, so I'm going to go for that to start my multi-ball. But, you know, if, if, I, if I fail at that and the ball's still alive, I might start going for goals. Just because in a tournament situation, you got to find a way to make points. Even if you're chopping wood, making goals is better than struggling at the scoop for half an hour. Now, I got it. Um, uh, you know, I, I would say this, uh, like, as, as, as compared to other World Cup soccers, with 10 being the hardest that I've ever experienced in World Cup soccer, um, I mean, this is, this is maybe a 7, like a 7 or 8. It may be because I've, I've really focused in. I focused in on what shots to hit and what to ignore. Before I was ignored, I was just going for everything. Um, so this is like a seven or eight. Um, I, I would say on, on the general scale, um, I, I find this, this one of the harder, I actually find this harder than um, F14, which is not common, but. Okay, again, so I'm focusing on trying to make goals. And now that I've made a goal, I'm gonna hit my, my button light for my second goal. Now I need to focus on, oh, need to focus on getting ramps and not draining. Not uncommon. Okay, so I'm going to build, hopefully, for my, my second uh, multi-ball.
What's wrong with the uh, the DMD cam? Now, I was having a discussion um, about this game on Tilt Forums. We, we discussed some of the intricacies because there, there were some, some questions I had about what... Uh, you know, just, just about like how to build up the multi-ball, things like that. Um, one, one other thing is there is a target. So your kickback is pretty important, I find. Um, oh, <laughs> well, I'm, I normally play, so I normally play um, Wizard of Oz, and I was just, I don't know, I was trying to fill up the screen. There you go, you're welcome. I, I wanted people to be able to see it, see it and just love it, right? Um, so, okay, so, so your, your kickback's really important. So you can light, you basically light the target to light the kickback by rolling through the right lane, the right in lane, and then comboing that in to the, um, the little target that is just below the lock. That's how you relight your, um, how you relight your kickback. Uh, if anybody, yeah, if, uh, if anybody has any questions about like, how do you do this or that, I actually have quite a bit of knowledge in my head right now. It may leak out if you don't ask me uh, questions now. Um, so after, one little thing, so after, uh, after eight o'clock, um, we are going to, uh, once 8 o'clock happens, uh, we're going to start league play, so you'll be able to see people who can actually play this machine. Uh, so I, I kind of messed up my skill shot, which, you know, that's three points, just for plunging the ball the right way, right? Uh, one, one little thing, one interesting thing, is this game has magnet save. Um, it's a little different than uh, my kickback wasn't that I should have done. So it's a little, it works a little different than um, than other Magna saves. Other Magna saves saves your ball from the outlines. This one is actually saving it from going down the drain. I'm gonna see if this ball. I, I tend not to be able to use it in a save, but it, you can use it in helping helping you to get the ball under control. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do that. Man alive, I cannot find that ramp. Ah, so I tried try to do the magnet save, but it didn't, didn't work. Let's see what time it is. Good. All right. So we've got uh, we've got another twenty minutes of suffering through watching me play. Um. So, all right. All right so we, we talked about how to start, start how to start multi ball. We talked about how to light your goals. Those are probably the two um, the two things that that really um, are going to give you uh, the most points. Now. One interesting thing is the striker, the striker scoop in the back of the play field um, is all, will also give you kind of a mystery award. Um, there are four, or sorry, there are three striker targets. Um, there's two on either side of the ramp, and there's one uh, over by the, the left pop bumper. You basically need to hit those, I think, like seven or nine times. You have to spell striker, so S-T-R-I-K-E-R, -E seven times, right? You have to hit seven those targets seven times. It will light the scoop uh, for a mystery award. Um, there's actually some pretty good ones. There's one of the awards is um, one of the awards is uh, like kickback for the rest of the ball, and that's pretty important. Um, so I find that if if I have been just bricking and bricking and bricking the left ramp, um, that striker hole is going to be lit uh, to give me something important. It's not something you can do. Uh, there's also TV awards at the final draw scoop, but I find that I mean shooting the final draw scoop is hard enough as it is. Um, and uh, cool, let's see if we can do this. So again, I'm gonna punch hard the first time. Okay, got the middle one. It's probably I find would be the hardest to get.
Yes, and everybody needs to make it down to Arcade Super Awesome. It is, it is one of, I mean, it, you know, the selection of games, they rotate games out very, John is rotating games out regularly. And it is, sick. Um, it's great. So, uh, not many video games, just uh, mainly the Killer Queen. Um, oh, I... That's called Operator Error. It's also called Talking Too Much, right? But I like to interact with you. Um, yeah, so but he's got he's got a Miss Pac-Man cocktail, a Galaga cocktail, and then um, then the uh, Killer Queen, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna plunge hard. There we go. So by doing that, it also gave me, in addition to I think like I forgot what I was doing. It gave me um, three of my cities uh, that work towards um, the wizard mode. Um, all right, so again, ramps, we're going for ramps, we're going for the goalie. I'm going to use that first relight as soon as I score my first goal. Multiball restart because I did not score a uh, score a, 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 a jackpot, but I blew it because I could not find the ramp. So don't worry, everybody. I'm gonna play a real game before the. Uh, before the night is out. One technique that I haven't been uh, utilizing very much, it's actually like pretty helpful um, because sometimes you want to get your ball on the, you know, on a, on a different flipper is, uh, uh, you know, a rolling pass, rolling bounce pass, something like that. Um, you know, just keeping it up, doing a little flip, obviously almost, almost paid for that one, right? There, see? So what was nice about that, the ball was just going crazy. And I, I was trying to get it under control. So, you know, I'm never going to use that to save myself. So why don't... I, you know, why, why not when it's bouncing back and forth between the, the, um, the slings, why not use it to, to try to get the ball to a track? Nope. Messed that one up. Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. So again, what's you know, goals goals have you know two two things. It's it's getting you, um, it's giving you points. But more importantly, it's starting. It's making one thing worth uh, you know a bunch of points for a certain amount of hits. It's kind of nice. I should have used it. Should have used my magnet safe. Didn't. 
So, one thing is I, um, you know, I'm, I'm not the best of players. And so what, you know, mainly my, my big focus is to try to let people know that, hey, we all suck sometimes, right? Um, you gotta keep in mind, the other thing is, as I'm talking here, you gotta keep in mind what you're going for. Because um, right now, I've got my final draw loop. And I really want to get it in there. Because that's going to start my multi-ball. That's where a lot of those points are. There it is. And, you know, if, if, you're, if you're in a... If you're in a... Um, public location scenario kind of thing. Um, it's good to it's good to, tr to try to play some of the games as much as you can before a match because it's really going to give you an opportunity to get dialed in on those shots. So I started at number um, uh, number ten Austria because I had traveled two cities. So for every two cities you travel, you get one uh, additional seed. Down, uh, down the line. Um, so instead of starting at number 11, I started at number 10, so my jackpots are more. So again, it, you know, if, if you want to, you can focus on those ramps, focus on getting cities. It's gonna, every two city is gonna give you a, a jackpot boost. While you're doing that, you know, you can get some goals. That's gonna give you, um, or actually you, you, or you can get goals and that's gonna give you the, the ultra modes. And then, um, and then when you can finally do the final draw scoop, that's when um, you know you, you already be kind of ahead, right? So if I get my skill shot, I'm actually going to raise up three cities, which. I think it's going to bump me up a seed, but it may not because, yeah, it may not, um, because I had already started multiple. So I'm reach down, hit that button, there it is. So now I need, now I need to start hitting my ramp. To light, relight the jackpot. So, falling out of multi ball after two. Uh, nope, two jackpots. So if you uh, if you have not already, if you're watching, hit that follow button. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I normally have a, a follower alert, uh, but I know my, my alerts were not working uh, initially. So um, hopefully, if if I, I'll, I'll thank you on the next stream, or I you know I'll tell you what. Once once a league play starts, I'll, I'll give you a thank you. So I really should have. Really should have soft plunged that um, the skill shot because as soon as I get there we go. Uh, where is my? Oh, that's right. Okay. So here's a funny thing because I'm on my second level of multi ball. I need to hit the striker scoop to, um, I think I need to hit the striker scoop to light my lock. Or no, that's what it is. They, the, the, build, the build inserts don't come up uh, quite as fast. Let me check on, um, actually, do that later. All right. 
About another 10 minutes we're gonna stream. Talk amongst yourselves. You know, I messed up, only got one, uh, one jackpot in that ball, and I got frustrated, right? Lost my concentration. Definitely one thing about these ramps are, you know, if, if you don't get a good solid hit on them, you are in trouble. You're in trouble.
That striker shot's a really good bailout shot. If you've got like nothing else to shoot for, it's a great, it's something really nice to aim for. Um, Cause you can more or less get the ball back. Nope, wasn't paying attention. There's a couple things, this is, you know, like, I feel like, like Wizard of Oz in the sense where there's a couple things that are, uh, you know, to decent amount of points can be added um, in your bonus. Uh, I think, I think you get, you get a certain amount of points, uh, man, that was a bad move. You get a certain amount of points for goals you make, um, so you don't, you don't want to tilt the game out. I think you also get some city bonuses and stuff like that. So again, I'm probably never going to use that Magnus save in play, so if the ball's bouncing around, I will just use it, right? Get the ball under control. Striker is lit, so I'm going to get three goals, which is pretty good. So I guess uh, after four goals, that lights your TV award. Again, how often am I, am I going to be able to make the... I mean, I'm lucky to make make the final draw scoop once, right? And you, half the time, it just falls in. Didn't even mean to do it. All right. I have time for one more game, last game of the night. Going for the GC.
I will play that. I, I'm gonna play this during um, during league, so I will be back after this game is over. My main thing is, don't do what I do. Just do what I say. Do not as I do. Do as I say. Right? I can tell you exactly how to win at this game. I'm not gonna win, but. I really need to, I'm so used to focusing on ramps and getting the locks hit, ah, that, and I'm not focusing on final drop. What's nice is there is a very short ball set, very short. So you can hit the ramp, relight, uh, multiple. Not gonna be my guess, best game ever, but uh, when it comes to sucking at life, I'm the best. Alright, that is it. I will be back uh, when I come play during the week, which is could could be any minute. Uh, I'm going to pl turn the player cam off. Um, to protect the innocent, and then, um, yeah, then we're good to go. All right.